the Chef Angelo or the Pizza Guy Angelo. Today I'm here, I dress in this way, Italian. Uh, you know, normally I don't do this, but today I feel very, very Italian because when we're talking about pizza, well, everybody remember about Italy. Of course, a lot of you want to try the best pizza crust for pizza alla napoletana, original. Today, in additional, I'm gonna show you a secret. Few of the top chefs in the world make a pizza napoletana even better. What is that? It's make the polish. What is the polish? Before we go there, I want to show you what kind of ingredients you need to make the dough, all right? First of all, when you want to make a great pizza, always, for the top chefs, for the real people, enjoy this industry, want to cook, even when you go in the restaurant, you pretend and deserve that they use the best ingredients. And use the best ingredients is the, 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 the secret of the most good food. Well, what I'm going to show you today, it's the ingredients you need to buy, and for my knowledge, they are the top ingredients. This is the ingredients and what you need to start to make the dough. Well, first of all, the, the flour, I use Caputo Rossa Pizzeria. You can read here, Pizzeria. Okay, this flour, it's very special. Why? It's a great to make the pizza. And normally the pizza uh, flour got, uh, it's between uh, the writing like a W, uh, between 280 to 830. What that means exactly? It's uh, the content of the protein has got inside and, uh, and the gluten. What that means? It's what you need to make the best dough. And again, this flour, Caputo, it's one of the top flour I, I use. It's other flowers there, and uh, of course you can search. Long you find the, you know, the pizza flour got the right amount of protein and gluten. Next step, it's very important you use a scale like this, you know. This scale is very fun because in America we use ounces, but you know, most of the pizza recipe I do, I do with kilos or milligrams and grams. And you can turn the unit at this, uh, and it's very simple. You put a, the thing, you put a zero and ingredients up, and you really can scale the all ingredients and the perfect amount. Now we are ready for the amount and ingredients to make a polish, the first step, remember? Now, uh, we have the flour, 300 grams flour, and uh, I have one teaspoon or five grams dry yeast. If you want to use the uh, fresh yeast, it will be six grams. It's pretty close. Here I got one teaspoon honey or five grams. Uh, here I got 300 milliliters of water, room temperature, and I think we are ready to go. Let's do this. You see how simple it is to do the polish. It's unbelievable. Make the pizza really the next level. Let's start doing the polish, okay? We put it, we got the flour here. The first thing we do, the water. inside this bowl. Now, I'm gonna put the, let me put it first, the honey, in this way here. Let me take a little spoon. The honey in, like this. Make sure, you know, you use all. Okay, like this, and, all right. And uh, next thing we do, it's a put it, uh, the yeast and the water. 
you know, just uh, the salt, the yeast, and the water. This is very excited because again, we are going to make the best pizza. Make sure you watch all the video because again, you will see what you can do after you watch this video. My goal in this video is to really make sure I show you something you can do in an easy way. You see the, the, the yeast is pretty much, much the salt. Now what I'm doing, you know, I put a little bit of flour first and make, you know, the, make like a cream. The salt a little bit first. Okay, then I put the rest of the flour, just like that. Okay. We are making polish. All the flour is incorporated. I'm gonna make sure it's in all the balls in. And uh, our polish is very much done. Now, what are we going to do? All right. We leave this thing uh, like this. Okay. The polish it's ready. That's it. What are we doing? We were sealing the 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 bowl. If you have a bowl with the leads, you know, uh, seal leads, or what I'm using. I'm gonna seal with uh, film, and uh, you know, after I seal it, I wait one hour on the room temperature, kind of rest a little bit, and then this will be ready the next 16, 24 hours. Next step will be, of course, I still got this here, but I prepared a polish yesterday, 16, 20 hours ago, all right? This is already sealed, again, rest one hour, then go back in the cooler. What do we get? It's exactly, ta-ta, the Polish. I did prepare this yesterday. And now we can uh, see how it will look like. It's, it's beautiful. Again, when you cooking, make sure you have fun. Yeah, a lot of time maybe feel a little uh, too much fun, but that's okay. Because you cook, you enjoy life. Now, look at this thing here. This, you can see it? It's the Polish ready. This is the start for the dough. And we're going to next step right now. Okay, now we are ready to make the dough. Yeah, I saw your eyes, oh, now we use the machine. Yes, for do this dough, you can use the machine or working the pizza, which I show you after I'm gonna start the machine, I show you how to finish the dough. Now, um, let's restart the recipe. Before I show you how to do the polish, in the Polish, we use 300 uh, grams of flour. That means this recipe is for one kilo. It's like the pack we normally we buy, if we buy a pack like I showed you before. Then means we need another 700 grams of flour to add inside the Polish. Uh, this pizza dough, it's a 70% hydration. What it means, uh, uh, the, the dough absorbs a lot of water, which is good too to make a pizza very light and digestible. And I have a 400 additional water to put it in the recipe, 25 grams of salt, and 10 grams of olive oil extra virgin. This is the ingredients we're going to use. Let me show you now how to use the machine Again, if you do not have the machine, you can do it on a bowl like this, 
and mix it and when everything is incorporated finishing like I show you after the machine I do this because it's a little more faster and uh, easier for a lot of people got the machine to home and uh, always I suggest they have a, a nice mixer like this because I do so many recipe recipe in this and uh, it's a really a big toy for a chef be ready the water it's 400 milligrams um, what I do first it's uh, take it out the, the cup from the machine and uh, you know put all the polish inside the bowl uh, you can see it it's got a lot of you know air there and uh, we mix it like this now it's ready to put the polish inside the mixer bowl all right this is done we put it here and this is done with uh, after the polish the first thing we do it's uh, mix uh, the salt and the water and uh, in this way it's already all over like this and we put the water with the polish all the water and uh, technically we now mix okay, like this we mix the polish very slow put it up this and uh, okay take it out to the the bowl for the machine and I'll double check uh, with a spoon like this after the old portion polish it's pretty much this is the soil still a little bit but I think this is fine now what are we going to do add a little flour at a time and we can start with the spoon like this you know make a, actually something like a, again a little more creamy before you put more and put a little more like this you can see you know this is very easy at this point what I'm doing I put all the flour okay perfect now we make the machine do a little work put this here We turn it on and uh, start to very slow. This is will take on the machine about five, six minutes. And we wait to when the dough start incorporate really nice. I will show you when it will be ready. And now we are going to take it out the dough. You can see the dough will look like this. It's not hundred percent. See, it's breaking. When you pull it, you don't want the doors breaking, which means it need a little more work, a little muscle work. Now I put a little bit flour here, and uh, the way we do it's this. You see the, this finger taken in. It's a lot of way to do. You can do this way, see the side, or you can do this way. Again, this would be absorb the rest of the flour and make the dough really, really smooth. You know, it takes another 10 minutes to do this. Have a little patience. You want to do the best dough, right? And uh, 10 minutes from now, this will be ready. Okay, I'm still here. See it. The dough start to come a little more smooth. It's coming. 
This would be very, very good pizza. You can see it. I was moved. It's this door now. In the end, we do like this. It started to become really good. I think this dough now, it's ready for rest. We will put over here, a little olive oil. Okay, I'm gonna pour this inside the bowl and uh, I put on top a towel like this. Okay. I rested the dough for about 20 minutes and then I did like this, you know, and uh, you can see the dough, it's nice and smooth. We put a little oil on top like this. Look how beautiful smooth is this dough now. What are we going to do? We put it back here in the bowl and uh, I seal with a plastic wrap and uh, we wait a couple hours on the room temperature to rise a little bit more and uh, the dough will be ready to make bowls. See in a couple hours. Wonderful, we wait a couple hours, finally our dough is ready. Let's go check together. <laughs> It's a very, very, very soft. What are we going to do? I'm gonna put the door right here, okay? I'm so excited right now. Okay, we go from inside and pull up. It's supposed to come out like this and we put in this way, okay. Now we start to make bowls and uh, about uh, 280 grams each. Perfect. Let's go cut like this. I got the scale here and this is a little bit more okay how we make the ball it's very simple we with the fingers we do this and stretch 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 and then like this done and the bottom one it's what we put it down Sample that. Do another one. Okay. Boom. This is perfect. Again. Like this. See the finger here? Put it like that. Two balls. make this a little bigger in this way I can uh, do focaccia with this our balls is ready what I'm doing is put a little bit of oil here do like this and put uh, one here one here one here and then uh, I put it down here the I'm going to cover with film. Inside. 
make sure this and take the air. Okay. I do the same thing with this tree. Now, what we gotta do? It's very easy. We put in the cooler. Tomorrow, this ball will be. Normally, it takes 36 hours. Why? Because this 36 hours give the time the the pizza dough rise very slow. That means the old gas from the east, it will be pretty much gone. That's what makes the ball very light and digestible. Now it's time to make the sauce. Okay, first of all, I want to tell, you know, everybody watch this video. This is the Napoletana, Pizza La Napoletana. What I'm showing you today, it's what is the original way to do pizza la napoletana it's a lot of chefs out there they do a little bit different but technically what i'm showing you it's pretty much what everybody agree this is the napoletan style for do a good pizza napoletana we are working the dough and uh, in the time we we're waiting for the dough to be ready I'm going to show and make the sauce for pizza la napoletana. Normally, for a real napoletana pizza, you use San Marzano tomato. In America, we got a lot of company produce a wonderful tomato. The we can do pizza napoletana with that? Yes, it will be similar, but this is the original. Now, I put the tomato here. You can see the San Marzano tomato got, it's very, very, almost like it's, you don't see water here. And my, what I'm, I'm going to do, it's with my hands, you know, cut everything, make it smooth. Yeah, I like it, it's this little chunking, because this is on the pizza, will look really rustic. And anyway, it's really tasty. Mm, the smell of the sauce, it's just, it's just fabulous. It's a tomato. It's to, uncooked tomato. The tomato is crushed. Now I put it just the three leaves, a basil, like this. I'm just uh, breaking and put inside of the sauce, you know, and uh, normally, I like it wait 24 hours, so this way I got a little bit uh, aroma from the basil. I'm gonna put uh, enough salt, like this is, I think is fine, and a little bit olive oil, extra virgin. Like that. That's it. This is the sauce we put on the pizza alla napoletana or you say a ne Neapolitan uh, pizza, the original. We mix with the ends like this. I'm gonna put a plastic on top and put in the fridge. In this way, tomorrow, we have the sauce ready. First, let's Turn it on the oven, 500 degree, broil, and make sure you have uh, the stone inside, like this. Okay, we are back for making pizza now. I'm so excited. Again, the, the, the dough, the bowl, it's great. It's growing a lot. And you can see it. We have right here. The first thing I'm gonna do, we need to be very gentle because this is very prude, very delicate. I wait uh, uh, 36 hours, then I take it out. Now it's like three hours is out. That's why it's more proof, but that's okay because the pizza will be 
very soft and unbelievable. Okay, look at me now what we are going to do. We take uh, the spatula and we make sure we put a little flour on top, all over there, inside here, in the way we can cut really nice and make sure we very gentle with the flour on the bottom we take the dough okay like this and we put the dough on the flour it's put it very gentle put a little flour here on the table and put this little back like this uh, and flour on the table and we put this this is the very important moment this is very soft what do we do? Put a little flour on top here. I'm doing just, you see it, the inside. I don't touch this. Then I'm gonna move in and again, do this. And now, see it? I do like this. Stretch and do like this. Or you can do inside. Don't touch the board again like this okay this pie it's ready what we want, want to do actually it's clean it up make sure there's no flour here in this way we have no flour in the dough i did use the semolina ramicinata because the semolina is doesn't stick with the flour and the pizza pie you see it it's very much clean. We clean the board again and we do this. Perfect. We can put on the pole easily, but I'm going to show you the easy way for everybody. You put on the pole right away, okay, and you extend it how much you want. Make sure you have a little on the pole like this, and this way, so it doesn't stick. And now we put the ingredients on. The ingredients are fresh tomato, okay? This is San Marzano tomato, again. I put a little, a little basil, a little salt, a little olive oil. It's not cooked because at the pizza napoletana, you don't put a cooked tomato. And you just put one a little bit. Again, in the napoletana original pizza, you don't put too much ingredients on it. You put enough sauce you need, and now I have a fresh mozzarella, all right? It's a fior di latte, fresh mozzarella. And uh, again, put on top of the pizza. And put a little olive oil. Some of the chef put the base on the hands because it will look better but I'm going to teach you how to taste better right now. And I put the, the base or the way, and this way you got a little aroma. Okay, we are ready to go. My oven is very hot, the stone is very hot. I'm putting the pizza in for about 10 minutes, all right? And voila! <laughs> Look at this pizza, how beautiful it is. You can see the cheese is melt, feel the crust here. Let me see if I can do it to my, my microphone, right? Uh, right here. Okay. It's a very crusty, it's soft, it's cooked perfectly. You can see it. It's, it, it, it's just amazing. Now what we're going to do you know, I'm waiting. This is, uh, it's, it's beautiful. This is the Napoletana pizza. It's the best way to do the way rice, everything. And we did this in the home oven, regular oven. My, my stove, it's a really old one. That means again, if I can do in my house, this beautiful, can do in your house. Now, let's go do this. I'm gonna cut it with the, the sears because I want to make sure the cut will be really sharp. 
Oh, now it's it's really okay. Hey, look at this. See here. Look at the bread here. Now it's still very hot. But it's it's really. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. The cheese, the way to heat to this pizza, it's in this way. You put it like this. Okay. Now it's very hot. Mmm. Light. Digestible. Perfect Napoletana flavor. Ciao, ciao!